right. Now, do you go do you go to his place to do your hair? Actually, there be long lines in there. I try to come in, you know, sometimes. Hey, keep hey, back in the line, buddy. <laughs> no haps. But wait, you can't go to some other place because that's bad for his business if they see you somewhere else. Uh, sometimes it's okay. Not everybody appeals to that particular style. <laughs> Not really. Number one on Clinton's list you sometimes. Kids, mm -hmm. we can't work with you. Mm -hmm. uh, you need some moisturization. You better recognize. Some moisture. And moisturize. And uh, <laughs> jazzercise. Got a bag of jump ropes on the top of his head there. Anyway. It's unique. I, I like because you do your own thing. Turn him to the fro thing now, but Thank he doesn't you. want to do that, you know, because I'm into the you know, conservative type. Richard, Richard Roundtree. Round there you, there you know. go. Oh, Cleopatra Flash Jones type thing. I heard yeah. that. Okay, serious question. Yes, sir. Um, coast to coast, no matter where you go, brothers killing brothers, black on black crime, how do we begin to put a dent in the problem? Uh, well, it's, it's weird. I mean, uh, on this latest uh, album that we just came with, uh, we try to send out a little small message. Instead of the gang sign, throw up this sign, you know, two fingers. You know, when it's, when it's time, to, it's reaching that point. Let's just cool it out. I mean, you know, people know us for the house party flow and all this and that, but, I mean, the house party ain't no fun if there ain't nobody coming in the house. It's kind of cool to be mature about things, too. I mean, I think, you know, it's coming from a pretty uh, childish-type state. It's like if you can't work out your problems through discussion and, and um, be men or women about it, it's like, you know, just be, take a, ma a mature approach to it. It's time. Congratulations on the Image Awards, uh, two, man. one last year. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, it felt it felt good, man, getting the image and everything. But you know, um, I had to I had to find out what the image meant, you know, mm -hmm. because I, I realized doing my show on Martin every Thursday, I have a lot of people saying you got kids, you got kid fans, and you got to kind of watch what you say and you do uh, for kid fans. And I was thinking, well, you know, Fox put me at 8:30 on Thursday, mm -hmm. so you don't have no choice but to kids to see who you are, so I guess the kids saw these ears and said, we like them, and, uh, <laughs> but I, I, I kind of, I, I realized what comes with, uh, having all this success responsibility, because we're, we're living in a time right now, man, that, and if we can get heavy, because I came to talk, y'all, is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like a raptor or Cindy, y'all. Hello. Uh, Welcome home. <laughs> no, I, man, I, I feel we're living in a time right now, it's, like, I have nice cars now, and I have a big house, and, and it's nice, bro. But I can't really drive that car all around the neighborhood, because brothers go, yeah, okay, it's nice, but bro, drive it over here. All right? <laughs> so, so it, 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 it kind of made me wake up. I went home, and I talked to the strongest women in my life, which are my, is my mother mm -hmm. and my sisters, man. And, yeah. uh, you know, they'll tell you the truth. And my mother said, you know, kids like you for a reason. Um, she said, um, what about the little boy who wanted to meet you? I said, what little boy? The little boy that just passed away. There was this little kid who had cancer. And um, I went to Atlanta to perform, and he wanted to meet me. And this little kid was like eight years old. And, you know, I said, okay, well, bring him up to the room. Let me meet him. So he's in the wheelchair, and the little kid just, you know, I said, hey, what's up, man? I'm Martin, da-da-da. Here's your hat. Here's a hat for you and everything. And he goes, why you do, why you do that uh, today they say you do? Now, now this little kid did, you know, didn't really, he couldn't really talk and, and say all these, but he knew about Shanae and he knew about me. So like a week later, two weeks, he died, man. And I was like, whoa, you know, before this little kid passed away, he wanted to meet me. You know, God gave him a blessing of meeting me. So I'm listening to people on television call me, you know, and writing in papers and stuff. 
saying I'm a clown and, and, and who is Martin and he's buffoonish. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, I'm just a guy on television that loves to make people laugh. Whether you black, white, Chinese, short, midget, I love to make everybody laugh. So I went home, I said, Mom, people lashing out. And, and, and usually I don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I want to, you know, go to these because I'm from the neighborhood. Yeah. And my mother said, baby, you, you, <laughs> you know, you know how it is. From the neighborhood, you won't wait outside the door. Well, when they coming outside, you know. So, so, so my mother said, my mother said, no, nah, baby, think of the time you living in. Right now, you can't really drive down the street. Racism still exists. We gotta admit it. People, we don't speak to each other, and we are lunching. We're pulling guns. We're taking each other. And this world ain't supposed to be like this. This is all wrong. We. We fight and we're fighting for the wrong things. Everybody measures success in having a car, having a big house. But success is measured in your happiness. Because if you ain't happy, it don't mean a damn thing. And, and you are happy, bruh. And so when I went home and talked to mom mm -hmm. and found out what I needed to be happy, for me to be happy was to know me. My mother broke some science to me. She said, if anybody call you a clown, they call you buffoonish. You are a comedian, you walk with the faith. If we all get back to what, why we're really here, a uh, man ain't, ain't God, God is God. And mom said, uh, um, you are named after Martin Luther King. You are named after John F. Kennedy. Your name is Martin Fitzgerald Lawrence. You were born in 65. I named you after a black man and a white man to show you there's two good people in this world that try to make a difference, bring people together. So I got to thinking, I said, that, that, that is true. So I said, what did Martin Luther King say before he died? And this is when I got my image, I started thinking about this. Martin Luther King said, when I die, don't tell him about the Nobel Peace Prize that I won, that ain't important. Don't tell him about all the other. And, you know, accolades that I want, that ain't important. What I want you to tell them is Martin Luther King try to help somebody. And if I've done that, my living isn't in vain. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So, so, <laughs> so, so, so to all the people that would call me a clown, buffoonish, say I'm silly, who is this kid? I walk with the faith, because mama told me so. I'm Martin Fitzgerald Lawrence. You know, like, like, like me or love me. Everything is good, though, dog. <laughs> yeah. He was here, man. Yeah. Was, I, did Snoop. you see it? Yeah, yeah, I loved it, it, man. I he loved turned it. turned it up. Um, it's all good. It is, man. And I came on here because Arsenio ain't do my show. And I was mad at him. So I got Tommy Davis, and I was like, man, play a uh, talk show host. I'm a dog, Arsenio. Then I started thinking. Wait a minute, brother, you on TV, man, you make millions of people laugh. We can't afford to be dogging each other and not tuning in to you and supporting each other because back in the old Hollywood, I saw black people in movie theaters damn near every week. Now I gotta wait for Denzel to do a movie, Wesley Snipes, it's like that's the only ones out here. We gotta put our heads together to do projects to give the consumer people what they want and stop letting the government tell us what to give them. Give them laughs, give them entertainment, because that's what your dollar pays for. Yeah. Stop yeah. juking them, darling. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, I think one thing that's very important is, like, you take that instance for the thing you just talked about. Mm -hmm. Martin had this script, and he wanted me to do it, and I was like, yo, tell Martin, let's get together so I can work out some stuff with him on this. So. It's as good for me as it is for him. Yeah. And I don't know what they came back and tell you, but yeah. but yeah, people in the middle. Well, oh, I, 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 he, he said, he said, uh, he, go he to said. hell yeah. and, and get out of here. Never cry again. Yeah. So you know, I'm like, why do you say? Come on, no, you call Tommy <laughs> Davidson, man. You know, and it, that, that's crazy, man. We 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 can't... must talk. We got to talk. My thing is, for me going home, I came on here to say, you know, this wasn't even to pro promote nothing. I got stuff coming out. We'll talk about that next time. <laughs> this was just to come on and say, let me get out the house and, and, and rap to my brother. When I, I was at the Image Award and they gave me the awards, I was hearing all this stuff about Tupac and Snoop Dogg and kids. And, and, and I'm going, wait a minute. If you want to hear young people, you got to listen to young people. I, hear, I see preachers riding over like uh, the, 
the, the, the uh, tapes of yeah. uh, steam rollers, steam rolling steam tapes. Rolling. And I'm going, wait a minute, this is a preacher, man. If a young kid is, he may not always do it right through his art, but if he's trying to tell you something because that's all he knows, by you running over his stuff is creating anger, you know, uh, people being mad and being angry, racism in one sense. You can't put somebody down, you know what I'm saying, and then uh, 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 tell them, well, you don't do this, and you hollering at them, and then people get like, I, I mean, are you going to hit me? Are you, are you going to beat me? But if you tell them with a smile, and you sit down, and you talk with them and say, listen, man, this ain't cool for us getting together and growing. Mm -hmm. Now, as a kid, I want to hear you. I'm like, what you got to say? Oh, you right, right, right. <laughs> you, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's interesting because when you walked out, something dawned on me. Everybody stood up and gave you yeah. props. And it dawned on me, the stuff that you're thinking about, the yeah. stuff that's bugging you, they don't even read that book. They don't. That, that they don't even care. Saying. They stood up and gave you props like, oh, uh, what they say about mine? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. watch every, you know we, we don't give a damn. It, it's funny because the media don't, you know, the media, they, they are the, the power in the sense of what they can get to the people and what they don't. And in Hollywood, you know, mm -hmm. we got to wake up every morning, hear our name blasted on the radio, hear this. And I'm the kind of guy, I don't say nothing about nothing. You don't mess with me, I don't mess with you. But when I see people out there that's disrespecting, you know, women cutting up, you know, uh, 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 our brothers and sisters, I mean, anybody, whether you're black, white, we ain't supposed to be living this way. We're supposed to be smiling and knowing that, hey, success is in our happiness. And uh, if we all get back to the faith, you'd be better off because all of this, you, you, we renting all this while we here anyway, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when yeah. you die, there'll be another host right here. Boy, I see him. Sorry. <laughs> so, so, so just don't, for that, I'm going to read this news fooled. week clip. Don't get fooled, man. Don't, I just don't want people to get fooled, man, because, you know, it's nice for them. They, they show... The, the lifestyles of the rich and famous, and they tell you, you know, this is what you can have someday, but yet you got kids that work hard and go through college, and they can't get out and can't even get a job. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, you, can't, you can't trick them, man. Yeah. You can't be tricking people, Okay, bro. we take a commercial, yeah. come back with more Martin Lawrence. I got a question for you inspired by Kid and Play's presence in the house. Yeah. Uh, since House Party, since the comic I knew who did the fly yeah, yeah. at the comedy store, <laughs> uh, how have you changed most? I grew up, man. I, you know what I'm saying? Those characters in House Party, man, and Kid and Play are my boys. I love them. And so please go see House Party 3. Um, I, in, in, in those movies, I always wanted to do characters that were real to people. So I didn't care what you thought about me, you know, because I always knew who I was. If you thought I had bad breath, fine. If you thought, <laughs> you know, you the big head dragon, but fine. You know, because I knew how to separate me being an actor and what was in my real life. I know I go home and brush my teeth. So, um, um, <laughs> coming from House Party, it was just, you know, I, I, the third one, why I wasn't in it, it just because, you know, I was growing up. And to, to, because of my schedule on Martin, and everything, and I got some other stuff coming for people that the studios are looking at, and they're going, you sure you want to get this to people? And I'm going, hey, trust me, the people will like it. So I'm battling them right now. And so I had to grow up, that's all. How has money changed you? Money changed me. Oh, man. It showed me that when I get it, I just want to do more and more good with it, man, because I know I ain't taking it with me. <laughs> so yeah. it's like I just want to help people because I know, you know, if if... if you know, I can't help everybody, you know that. Mm -hmm. And you could get 10 people in the line, hey, bro, I need five. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then you, if you do that, you find out, you, you know, uh, you'll be broke. But because I have such a large, <laughs> nah, 
because I don't I don't want to be broke because I have a large family and I want to be able to <laughs> make sure you know they taken care of. You know, government makes sure you check out with nothing. I'm like, <laughs> so I want to make sure I'm always, you know, balanced and doing the right thing. But most importantly, I want to build, I want to build, uh, uh, I said it last time, bro, where we make, you know, our own movies. What I mean by that is have the money to, 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 to make our own movies. You know, um, when you got to go to other people they, and executives that don't know your vision, you know what I'm saying, of what you're trying to get to the people, it's hard to explain, because, you know, you got executives that just worked at J.C. Penney, and now they're running studios, and they go, well, I don't understand. Why does the guy have to cry? <laughs> and you're going, because he's emotional. Well, why does he have to cry? <laughs> and you're going, man, I ain't, you, ain't, you ain't never going to get it. So I just want to, I want to build something, man. I want to, I want to get back to, remember when Cosby and all the men had the movies? Let's do it again. Piece of the action. I mean, you saw a variety of black stars, man, on screen. You know what I'm saying? Just, you saw people working. It wasn't just one. You saw people working. House Party 3. Bow. He said it. Go see House Party 3. <laughs> Nothing but black folks on screen. <laughs> and, 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 no, what, what I meant like that, because that's, that's, that's fun. But, you know, you have movies out here where I don't see... You know, I might see a, a white film and I don't see a black star, and I go, wait a minute, you're doing the Ten Commandments. How can you not have a black actor <laughs> in the Ten Commandments? Yeah. <laughs> it was hot in Egypt. <laughs> you got to be dark. It was hot in Egypt, you know. So, <laughs> <It did. laughs> yeah. so I, I just want to, I want to build something, man, where, where, you know, because I'm a consumer, so I know what people like. When I was working at the gas station and buffing floors, every dollar I took out my money, I was a consumer. I was pulling money out going, wait a minute, why I got to be that? I think of the people, man. So I, when you pay a dollar, I don't want you paying a dollar to see Martin because I need your money. No. I want you to say, hey, I'm paying this because it's worth it. You know, because I go out, I, my cast to tell you, I live the Martin show, man, to give people uh, something every week. We all do that on television, you're limited. You know what I'm saying? You gotta watch this, you gotta watch that. But with what we do, we just say, if we keep it real, you can never go wrong, because the people will, will let you know. Yeah. When, when, you and I, when you and I talked on the phone last time, we kinda got into the whole Michael Jackson thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, what can we tell them of that conversation? Oh, about, me, about Michael, it's, it's heavy. Because Michael, man, I mean, who are we kidding? This is the baddest entertainer in the world. I mean, the brother walks with gold. I mean, you know, I mean, he don't do nothing. Michael, you don't see, hear about Michael swinging on people and everything. But I realize he's human. <laughs> you know, you just don't. I mean, this is Michael Jackson. So now, let's talk Michael Jackson. This is Michael Ch Jackson that is in the eyes of everybody in America. Most importantly, the kids who you say we have to help are the kids. Now, when you put him on TV, and accuse him before you even had a trial or anything. You know what I'm saying? Kids see that. You tearing down their hero. So now who, we got to go back to these young kids' head that had all that smile for Michael. We got to rebuild it, you know, no and explain to them. You, you follow me? You, you accuse somebody before you have a trial, brother, that, that's not right. That ain't America. America is supposed to... I mean, it ain't like, you know, yeah, run to the defense of everyone, Martin. Go out and talk. It's just about, you know, if you're living right, <laughs> it's, just, it's just about, it's just about, I believe in people, man. And I don't like to see people get taken, taken by no means. And it's just about, you know, uh, the powers that be in America can make this all right. You can make it all right for everybody. You talk about the homeless. You talk about, I saw Ice-T get on his knees and say, hey, help the neighborhood. I ain't really hear nobody, you know. He said, right there? Yeah, right here where I was, help yeah. the neighborhood. What I'm saying is the powers that be know that you can make it all right for people in America. You can, you don't, we don't have to have all these homeless shelters. Why? Because you can stop building bombs and build apartment complexes and places for people to live, you know? <laughs> Um, you know, I, I believe me, I like the money that we get to make from entertainers, but then how can you argue about teachers not getting paid their money, man? They're teaching, you know, 
Um, my thing is teachers are the closest people to your kids so they can teach them and educate. Kids only know what you nurture into them as a child. When you grow up and you find out and you go, damn, I'm messed up in some ways, I don't understand. You gotta research and say, why am I like that? Because you only know what you grew up with, what's in you. If somebody, if you had a parent and the parent was there all the time and taught you, fine. In my neighborhood, bruh, moms was there, you know? <laughs> and she was the one that said, no matter what, boy, I don't care, put a skull cap on your hat, on your head. Don't go out there in the cold. Do the right thing, do the right thing. But most importantly, keep the faith. Keep the faith. Anybody that's ever watching me going, Martin looks real. He seems like he's just damn. <laughs> I am, because I care what people think about me. It's like, I'm like, you think what you want. But I know that it, yo, man, I, I came from being, being working the maintenance, buffing floors to this, to this point right now. I'm running a business. My hat is H-N, what? <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you follow me? So I'm telling all the neighborhood kids that anybody ever tell you you can't do it, boy, if you believe in your God, but most importantly, keep the faith, because when everybody else will abandon you, God ain't going nowhere. Sunday night, Fox, Martin Lawrence. Come back soon, man. Thank you, man. Martin Lawrence. <laughs>